Hi everyone, this is the uh, air engine which is on YouTube and the plans are for sale. My mate Alan bought me the plans and uh, I asked my son Kerry to uh, put things together because he knows wood and um, he asked his mate George. So anyway, this is complete and what happened is that it wasn't working. Um, I'm thanking George because he did a brilliant job anyway. It wasn't working, so I'm trying to tweak it up. A lot of things uh, have gone on since then. So what I've realized is that this stroke here is about an inch and a half. It needs to be five eighths stroke here. So I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try, maybe try something temporary to see if I can make this into five eighths stroke instead of inch and a half from there to, to there. To, sorry, from there to there. It is a lot of stroke. I'm going to go five eighths. Maybe I'll, I'll work it better. So guys, this was out of line with this, and it wasn't uh, straightish. So what I did, I, I put this along here, and I kind of lined it up. And what I had to do is move this as much as I could. Um, I cut this. I cut this in the side there move this slightly out so it's a, it's more or less lined up it's just a fraction out then uh, this particular thing I I put a wood between there a smaller dowel this one here I have got a smaller dowel it's the only thing I've got to be honest with you that's why I'm using that and I aldited things in there because I've got no wood glue or anything like that and I made this which is just a, just a piece of wood which I cut off from the end of this here so um, I made that, I put a hole in there and I fixed it inside there uh, compared to the original woodwork which is like this um, I didn't use this because that hole's too big now for my dowel so I just made that one. so that's the idea now guys I'm going to put it together, see if it works what happens I've tried many things, I've looked in there I've changed change the the um, position of this wheel and so on and so forth anyway long and short of it is I think what's happened is that the the dowel that was there wasn't in the right place so the, uh, the crankshaft I've just temporarily put the crankshaft up there with the metal thing there I'm gonna try it out soon put it together see what happens there I realized that this this should move from that position, that position to there to make it work, that's about uh, very small. So right now I've got it working, but let me just show you it working first before I go any further. Okay, so I've got it working, but what I had to do, uh, I had to change position of this wheel, because this wheel is supposed to be like that, uh, it was like this, somewhere like that. so I had to change position of this wheel, making sure that that is 90 degrees to, to this here, can you see this here, to this one here, I had to uh, open this up and try and sort things out inside there as well, but what happened is that, um, I had to cut this dowel out of here because the the stroke was too large and it had to be about five eighths. As you can see at the moment, it's not very tight, it's still loose like this. So I found out from this one here, the stroke will come from there to about there. So when I knew that, uh, when I figured that out, I, I had to cut this. I made the metal, metal uh, what do you call it, pin there, and I made this adjustable here. So this is just to see if I'm right and to get it working. So it is working now, but obviously I've messed up this here, so this is not very really straight here. Neither is this 
is this very straight here this this uh, flywheel here obviously I don't want this I want to make it out of wood but I'm, I'm thinking of redesigning this a little bit so it's a bit adjustable just in case 100% uh, doesn't work so that's where we are my friend at the moment I'll just see, just show you working again Hello everybody, so uh, thank you for watching, please subscribe and please understand that it takes me a long time to make my projects. Thank you for watching, uh, take care, bye.